in this video we're going to walk through our file transmission post submission actions. So all of our post submission actions are always available in this after submissions tab. So I'm in a form here, it's just a basic form with first name, last name, email, and phone number. I'll go to after submission and if your subscription allows you will see this file processing tab. When you expand those options, you'll see the different file transmission uh, actions we have available when the form is submitted. So we can do a uh, file transmission over FTP or SFTP, or you can generate this file and email it. So I'm going to show you the email version in this video. And really what's important here is showing you how to define the file. So if we click email, you're going to have your standard email options available to you, which is subject who you want to send this to. If you want to do multiple recipients, just put a comma between the, the email addresses. Then you choose who the email is going to be sent from and who you're replying to. Now down below is where we see the options unique to this file transmission action. So we're going to name the file, whatever is going to be generated. So you can say submission from X form. Then you can choose the type of file you want to generate. So CSV, just a text file or an Excel file. So I'll do an Excel file. Then here we just give you a little um, description on how you should separate fields into different columns since you're going to do an Excel file. And then whether you want to append a timestamp or not to the name of this file. So I'm going to say no there. Now over on the right hand side you'll see we need to define the file that we want to generate. If you want to do fixed text or anything like that you can put that in there. Just type it in and then in that description that popped up if you want to separate text into different columns all you need to do is add this little pipe so that's going to separate let's say if i wanted to do column one to column two So if I just generated this file now, what's going to be output is just an Excel file where in column one, cell one, you're going to see this text column one. And then in row one of column two, you're just going to see column two. But if we want to generate a file that has information from the form, you can just input that via this personalization here from the form. So in mine, I'm going to do first name, then separate that out so that in the next column, I have last name, and then again, add the pipe, then put email, add the pipe, and then put phone number. And that's how I want my file to be generated. Basically, I'll have four columns and if you add personalization, we will provide the field name as the column title. So here I would be done. This is how I want to generate my file for this specific submission. And then over on this right, over on the right hand side here, the second tab, email, you can define the email that is sent. And the file defined and generated will be sent as an attachment in the email. So over here, I already have this one set up. Just as I showed you in that last step. And then when we go to fill this out, and we submit this form. Now that file is going to be generated and sent to the email addresses that you have previously entered 
to receive that generated file. So I already received one earlier. This is what it was. I can now download that file. And now here is that file. So you'll see here, we have first name, last name, email, and phone number. And you'll see some entered information from that, uh, the end user who submitted that form. And that is how we uh, use file, generated, uh, file generation for your post-submission actions.